FlossTube. My name is Alyssa Jones, known as AJ Stitch on Instagram, and I'm here for my seventh FlossTube video with some updates from the past two weeks on my cross stitch and a little bit of knitting, not very much knitting. I hope everybody's been well. It is snowy here in upstate New York today. I actually have a snow day and there's potential for another snow day tomorrow. And they don't know how much snow we're getting, but it's enough to make the roads pretty yucky. So we'll find out. Maybe I'll get extra stitchy time, although I have to do report cards too. So it's hard to say how much I'll get done. Um, I'm gonna start with some finishes. And I have two finishes to share since my last floss tube. They're both pretty small, but they count. The first one was Christmas Eve by Hands On Design. And I've stitched I think five others of these, and this was my last finish. I haven't started the next one yet, but I was pretty happy with how this one turned out. It didn't take very long once I finally started stitching on it. It's just so cute. The next one I was going to stitch is Reindeer Games, and I've probably been putting it off because it involves so much backstitch. And back, stitch, back stitching is just not my favorite. Even on this one, I was supposed to back stitch around the bell, and I didn't. It doesn't, yeah, it does say it on the pattern. I just, I don't know, maybe I'll go in and do it. It's just more back stitch. Eek, I just don't love it. If you love back stitching and you have some pointers for me on how to like it more, let me know. Oh, Apollo joined us for his nap, by the way. He gets pretty excited when I film in here. He doesn't like the dining room, but this room's better for him. My other finish was from the Scary Apothecary series by Hands On Design, and I had been working on Bitter Brew, and this was part of my whip go, and I had finished my five days on it, and then I came up with that idea that I would keep stitching on my whip go projects each morning to see if I could get further progress. And it worked out because my floss came in that I was missing for Bitter Brew, which was the sparkly Krynic braid. And I got that. It's still a little wonky, but I think I can unwonky it on sticky board. See, that's already better. But Bitter Brew's all stitched. And then I even, we'll go right into my new start since it's here. I started the next one in the series. This is the third one I've done. And this is Broomstick Fuel. And I was missing colors, and they just arrived from 123 Stitch this week. But I had gotten broomstick stitched and started that little blue border. I really do love how that color is very variegated. It's um, Zach Black that has that like purpley to light purple color. I love it. So that was my two new starts and then my other projects i didn't really have a big plan or goal i was just stitching on what i liked again and one night i pulled out celebrate christmas by madame chantilly and i had only done the bird and a little bit of leaf and a little bit of tree and it still just looks like bird and leaf and tree but there's more leaf and some poinsettia and more tree and so that that was just one night i think all I got it out for. I'm peering down at my stitchy planner. Then another couple of nights I worked on Let's Talk Winter, which is a hands-on design chalk talk series. I own Autumn but haven't started it and now I kind of love the linen I'm stitching this on and I want it for all of them. So there's the pattern. And one week I kind of set the goal to finish Winter Wishes, which I did, but then I didn't set any new goals. So all I had really done last time I stitched was that snowman hat and started the word snow day. Oh, and maybe another snowflake. So I love that linen though. I think it's the dark burnt looking bits that I like the most. And this is linen from Southern Stitch Co. And I think I need to order more. We'll see because I have this piece too which is a little bit more brown I don't know if you can see that that is Apollo fur in case you were wondering it's very brown and I really like how this one's a little bit more cool with the blue tone we'll see then I pulled out Jack Frost tree farm 
which I just love stitching on. This linen is know, it's a little rough and it feels like there's a lot to it. So I had been working on the fourth part, which is the balsam fur. And I got more of that done because I only had like the top outline done. So I got the trees done and the words and I'm getting close to starting the truck. And so that's coming along quite nicely. And then I realized there were only three more parts and I almost got crazy and was like, maybe I should try to do one of those a month. And then I didn't set that goal, which I'm kind of glad for because with this much snow outside, I don't always want to keep stitching snow too. So I'm expecting this month that I'll want to start pulling out some different springy projects. We'll see. Another pattern I worked on was Kringles. And I worked on this quite a bit. I think at least for two nights. It's just so big. You, you don't realize how much stitching is involved when you fall in love with these projects. But this one's some stitching and it doesn't look like I did a lot. I had maybe snow almost halfway across the top of the roof. And now after two more nights of working on it, I have snow all the way across the roof. And I'm almost scared to start the next color because what if that snow is wrong? It was so much snow. And this is stitched on a 40 count, I think called for. My pattern's all mixed up here. I only put the picture in the front. Everything else is a jumble. And it's a big pattern. It's at least four pages. Let's see. Um, Oh, I don't know. Let me look again. It's not the called for. This is 32 count dapple by Picture This Plus. Looks kind of similar to the linen in the picture, but there it is. Lots of snow. So my plan was to do an outline of one of those top gable windows and the fence and then fill in some color because I don't, I like to get the white done so that it doesn't pull other colors in with it. We'll see. Love stitching on it. I'm just wondering exactly how many years this is gonna take me to stitch. I pulled out Farmhouse Christmas, which I am on the third part of. I'm stitching them all together on a piece of mystery linen. And this is Grandpa's truck. I had just a tiny bit of roof done and a little bit of snow I finished the tree and working on that um, second floor of the house, a little bit of the bottom floor, and it's just coming along nicely. So that's going to be lovely getting there. And that's with called for floss too, which is just beautiful. Such happy colors to work with. My lunch stitching project has been snowy chockful, and I had hoped to finish this this month and I'd bring it home on the weekends to try to get ahead. And then it would just sit in my school bag all weekend and nothing would happen to it. But even with just working on it for a little bit at lunch, it's getting there. That jar, of course, the fill in takes quite a while. So that's where I'm at right now. And then there's just a the little bit of border. This, I'm sorry, I don't even know if I've been saying names. Probably haven't been. This, I'll put a list below of all my whips in case you want more detail. This is Snowy Chockful. It's a collaboration between Hands On Design and Priscilla Bling of the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. So you can see I only have filling in the drawer and or the jar and that little bottom border, but I want to stitch the small too. So getting there. Just a lot of stitches. I say that. Wait till you see what I did though. I got a little out of hand this past weekend. One of my other WIPCO projects that I've continued working on is Hedgerow Birds. And I just spin a tiny decisions wheel and it only has Hedgerow Birds, Scary Apothecary, and Shores of Hawk Run Hollow, because those were my January WIPCOs. Those are the only three on it. And I just keep spinning it and spending a couple threads on those in the morning. And that's where I'm at on the back. If you remember, I had completely messed up the border and now I'm changing the pattern significantly. So Blackbird Designs had designed the back half of this to have these fun borders and these little details in between. Mine will not have any of that. Those are all coming out. And I think the way I'm doing it, everything else will just fit. 
And everything's a little squishy and I don't know what it is about this pattern. I can't stitch it without making a mistake. Even this morning, I realized I'd made mistakes, but I just said, eh, it's fine. I'll love it. And my plan is to sew it into a small project bag, whether it's for stitching or knitting, hard to say. There's the front all done and the back's getting there. So maybe a finish this month. I'm gonna keep using that whip go wheel and visiting those projects because I do like seeing that progress and continuing to work on them. I did forget to get one out. Sorry, there will be a zipper. There it is. So I did spend a little bit more time on Shores of Hawker and Hollow, not that you can really tell. So let me find the picture. Here's Shores of Hawker and Hollow. I have one and two done. I'm working on three and you can see that that's pretty dense. I've heard people recently refer to them as mini haids, and I can see that comparison, if that makes sense. So mine is getting there. More brickwork done, started the fence, a little bit more fill in and the door is almost done. A little bit more to do though. And that's on 40 count with one strand over two and I don't know what kind of linen it is. I thought I might have kept a tag with it and there's nothing in here. Hard to say. So that's Shores of Hawkrin Hollow and that I'll keep working on too if it pops up in the morning. So then I wanted to stitch something cute and this is the fall of Stitchy Shannon. And if you have not watched her floss tubes, go check her out. She's got some awesome, awesome projects and she, she has a way of picking like all the cutest projects in the world. And I was like, I want to stitch something cute. And then somehow it popped up on my Instagram that Cunning Cross Stitch, they have a blog that they put out free stitch alongs each year. And they have an Animal Crossing one ongoing. They had a Stitch Your Own Adventure Hogwarts one last year. And this year it's called Magic Kingdom Sale. And I wanted to stitch it really bad. And you can go on and you can print the pattern. And I decided to start this Saturday night. And then Sunday I kept stitching it. And I got it all done except for the one color that was missing. So there's the Little Mermaid. And then the next part, the February release was just dropped today. And it looks like it's a little Alice in Wonderland scene of the tea party. So. That's almost a thousand stitches that I did between Saturday night and Sunday morning. I was really enjoying it. And I don't have Pattern Keeper, and I don't know if you can put this pattern in Pattern Keeper because I just don't know Pattern Keeper, but I think I would love it even more if I had Pattern Keeper. Just so much fun. So my thought with this is I don't really decorate in my home with super cute things. I'm a little bit more farmhouse. But my thought is this would be a really fun project bag. And in fact, it'd be a great project bag for this project because the bag I have it in, it doesn't fit. And I use a Q-snap and prefer to stitch in the kitchen. Sorry, my furnace is loud. But I start, prefer to stitch this at the kitchen counter. And so I just have this really awful project bag, which was my first attempt at making my own project bags. When you don't know, you don't know. People who make project bags, you're very talented. Thank you for your work. So. I'm going to start part two. I have to check to see what colors I have. And there's a chance that if I don't have all the colors, I might risk going out in the snow to Joanne's because Michael's was out of several colors when I was there this weekend. We'll see. Just what I needed, one more whip. So then WIPGO numbers were called. And my two projects that were called for that are, one's pretty old. And the this one though, I started, I think, it might have been 2019 Stitch Mania I had started it, and it's stitched on linen I dyed myself. This is the Lizzie Kate Frightful Mystery Sampler. I feel like I might have shown this before, maybe not. But I had stitched part one and started part two, so I'm excited to see how much progress I make on this. I'd like to finish part two and maybe start part three. And. My piece of linen is really big, so it, this long skinny one will fit on here. But then I also have 
another whole half that I could use for something else. But I do love the colors of this. It'll be a fun one to have out at in the autumn time. And it's pretty Halloween, but I tend to leave that stuff up for a while. Then the other whip go that I need to work on is called Jingle Bells Christmas Tree Farm. And I really didn't know what I was getting into. It's a Victoria sampler. And I had seen it at my local needle workshop that has since closed. And it was absolutely beautiful. And I was like, oh, I love that. I'll stitch it though and I'll put it on brown. And so I chose a linen that's pretty thin. I've got it on a scroll frame, which I typically don't use now. I stitch in hand most of the time, unless it's a full coverage. And this is as far as I am after at least 10 years of picking at it. And so I've just started putting the needles on this tree and there's so much more to do. And for each section, there's a paragraph that describes the specialty stitches that go in and then the beading that goes in. It's so much more than I ever expected it to be. And you can see my linen's really thin too, but I should be able to hide a lot of like the, cause I didn't, when I stitched this, I definitely didn't know how to do a cute little hidden stitch. I just dragged my floss everywhere, hoping that it would be covered up. I don't enjoy working on this. So this is going to be a battle. I have to, for whip go to cross off my square, I have to work on it five days for at least one hour a day. So maybe by my next video, we'll see some progress and maybe I'll have decided I love it. I'm, I'm not expecting to, but maybe. I know I say maybe a lot. I just try to be really optimistic and then sometimes that fails. So February stitching plans are to keep stitching all the things that I feel like stitching. I'm going to clean out my whip bin a little bit because it's got a lot of Christmas and winter in it and I could probably do with a little change up. I also am hoping to maybe start, I know I just said I was getting rid of Christmas and winter, but I started kidding up um, Santa's trips and I had ordered all the floss from, which is just DMC, but they had the colors. So I ordered all those colors from 123 Stitch driving to Michael's. I just never know what I'm going to find anymore. So we'll just see what happens. Maybe I'll have some more springy stuff next time. Maybe it'll be the same projects with just more work, but it was a really good January. I got lots of stitchy time and I, the only knitting I've done in the past two weeks is a little bit more progress on my 12 days of Christmas socks. I had already finished the first sock, which you saw last time. And I had part of the, I had the cuff done and part of the leg. So I finished the leg and I recently just turned the heel. So now I'm about to do the gusset to make the foot come out. And this is of course still joyful to stitch on, but I'm to getting to that antsy point where my pair of socks is almost done and I'm ready to start a new pair. And I'm not sure which yarn I'm going to use. I have a few choices. So that should be out next time too. I should have a new pair of socks started. Um, I can't think of anything else. I've been doing a little bit more reading. I'm currently reading The Night Swim by Megan Golden, and it's a quick read. It's probably because of the format of it. Part of it's written in form of a letter, part of it's written from first person narrative, and another part is um, like you're reading somebody's podcast. It's a good good book so far. I don't, I don't know how intense it'll get because it's supposed to be more of like a suspenseful thriller. We'll see. And otherwise, it's going to be Apollo and I trying to stay out of the snow as much as we can, stitching and staying warm. I hope everybody else is doing well, staying safe, healthy, and not having to be out shoveling too much because I know that everybody got hit by a lot of snow across the top of our country. Look forward to seeing all of you with your floss tubes. Um, can't wait to see what everybody's working on because you always inspire me. Thanks so much for coming today. I'll talk to you soon.